Hey everyone, Anshita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In today's video, we are going to explore the new Cypress feature, which is about experimental test retry. So this was introduced in version 13.4.0, which was released a few days back. With this feature, you can address the flakiness and improve the test reliability. We know not all the test failures are actually the test failures and can be due to the flakiness also. So it's very important to distinguish between flakiness and the genuine issue. So with the new feature, you can identify the flaky test case on a local machine. You don't have to go to dashboard to check the flaky test case. You can directly get the control over a retry process on the local machine and make your test case more robust and reliable. With this experimental test retry, there are two available strategies. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the first strategy, which is this detect flake and pass on threshold. So this strategy allows setting the number of passing attempts required for a test result to be passed. So as part of this, you have to pass two experimental options. One is max retry and second one is the passes required. So let me show you more details about this experimental test retry from the official website of Cypress. So this is about the experimental strategy, which is detect flake and pass on threshold. And like I mentioned, we have to pass this with the two. First one is the max retry and the second one is the passes required. In the max retry, you actually set the maximum number of retry, which you want for the test case after the first failure. And the passes required is basically the required number of passing attempts for the final test result to be marked as passed. So this is the configuration which you have to pass in your config file, which is this retries. And inside the retries, first of all, the experimental strategy. So this is our strategy. And inside that, we have to pass the experimental option like max retry and the passes required. These are the mandatory experimental options which you have to pass with this experimental strategy. And then we have the open mode and the run mode. So if you know, in the previous version of Cypress, if you want to configure the retry in your config file, so we were passing the number over here. But with this configuration, you have to pass like this, open mode and run mode, and it's not an integer value anymore. It's a Boolean. You have to pass it like true or false. So what we will do, first of all, we will understand few scenarios. And later on, we will try to see it with a real-time example. So for this, I have created a mind map in which I have mentioned few of the examples to understand this in detail. And then we will start it with a real-time example. So this is our mind map. And in this example, I have two options, which is max retry and the pass is required. So in the first scenario, for example, your test case got failed first time, and then there was a second attempt. It got passed in second attempt. And then in the third attempt, it got failed again. So the result of this test execution would be failed. Why it is failed? Because over here, we need two passed attempt for the execution to be marked as passed. But in this case, only one test case is passed. That's why it is the execution status would be failed. Next one is the second scenario is in which your first attempt got failed, second and third got passed. But in this case, our execution status would be passed. Why? because it is matching with your passes required criteria, right? So we need two attempts to be passed. In this case, we can see our two attempts got passed. That's why the execution status would be passed. The third scenario is in which your first attempt got failed, second attempt got failed, and the execution status is failed. It's not even trying for the third attempt. Why? Because we know the maximum retry is two. That means the execution would be done three times, right? One is your normal execution. And apart from that, it will try for two max retries, like we have mentioned. But in this case, we know the passes required is two. That means your test case need two passed attempts. So we already have two failure attempts and we are left with a one attempt. In that case, it will be instantly marked failed. It will not attempt for the third case. Why? Because after two attempts only, we will know that even if the third attempt got passed, our test case execution is anyways going to be Fail. With this experimental test retry feature, you will have more control over your test retry process. You can actually find the flaky test case. So generally what happened in case you have configured the retry in your test case, for example, the first attempt got failed, but second attempt got passed. So in that case, the execution status was always getting passed. It will always take the recent one, the last attempt, right? And we were not able to find the flaky test because as per the configuration, if you're retrying your test case, maybe second time or three times, and the last attempt is the past test case, it was always marking it as a past test case. So we were not able to identify if it is flaky test case or if it is not flaky test case. So with this feature, you can actually explore and see how amazing this is, giving you that confidence your application is more stable. So in order to see the real-time example, so I have a sample HTML file in which I have added a random delay. So there's a text on the page, hello world. 
sometimes it appears instantly and sometimes there is a delay on the page so let me show you that html file this is my html file in which i have this text on the page hello world but like i mentioned i have added a random delay for example if i refresh it now you can see there is a delay on the page and hello world took some time to appear on the page right this is a test case which can be detected as a flaky test case why maybe it got passed in the first attempt but when you try to execute it second time the test case got failed why because there was a delay right so we know sometimes it is getting passed sometimes it is getting failed in order for us to say our application is stable we have added the configuration passes required to so we know if our test case is actually passing two times that means our application is stable so this is just an example but you can set the configuration as per your requirement so what we are going to do we are going to actually validate the same scenario today let's go to editor try the test case for this one so over here i have already created the basic template so this is my test case in which i have mentioned my describe and it block and inside this first thing i will visit the application so i will use the command cy.visit and inside this i will pass the url so this is an index.html file like i mentioned and i have this html file at the root level of project so you can see this is the index.html so in the cy.visit i'm just going to pass index.html it will automatically pick it from your root level the next thing is we are going to find the text is there on the page or not so for that first of all we will find the locator of hello world and then we will perform assertion on that let's go to the website and find the locator so i'll just inspect it and we will find the locator for this one so you can see the id is dynamic content in this case so we know in order to use the id as locator we have to pass hash so let's go to editor and write the code so i'm going to use the command cy.get and inside this we'll pass the locator value which is this one now the next step is we have to perform assertion for assertion i will use should have dot text and then the text value which is hello comma world so this is my test case so now i have not added any retry in our code first of all we will see how it is behaving and then later on we will configure that experimental retry in our config file so let's go to terminal and enter the command np cypress open select end to end testing and select the browser now let's select this test case and you see on the screen it is getting passed if i rerun the test case there can be chances it might get failed next time because we know there is a delay on the page so next time if we rerun it so you can see this time it got failed because it was not able to find the text within that duration of time so this is perfect example to understand this experimental test retry so what we will do we will add the configuration in our config file and then we will add the criteria and we will see if so if our test case is actually getting passed or failed as per those configuration let's go to our editor so the first thing is you have to upgrade the cypress version to 13.4 so over here if you see my package.json the cypress version is already upgraded so make sure the cypress version is 13.4.0 in order to use this experimental test retry feature now we will go to cypress.config.js and we will add the configuration over here so for this configuration what you can do you can just go to the official website of cypress and just directly copy the config so over here you can see this is retry till here you can just copy it and paste it in your config file like this okay but you can configure it as per your requirement over here we have passed max retry as, as 2 passes required as 2 but in your project if you want if you have a need of adding max retry as 3 and passes required as 3 you can do that also so you can change the number as per your requirement it's not mandatory to only pass it to like this you can change it also and then like we mentioned we have open mode and the run mode which are actually boolean values so this is required to configure the retry in open mode or in headless mode which is your run mode so now with this configuration what we are expecting the maximum retry is as 2 and for our test case to get passed we need to pass it in now let's run the test case and let's see because last time we saw when we were facing assertion error it got failed instantly but with this configuration we are going to retry 3 times and then we will verify if it is working as per the config or not fine let's see so i'll rerun the test case from this page so over here we can see the first attempt got failed second attempt is passed third attempt is passed so that means our execution status you can see this is green that means your test execution is passed like we saw in mind map also if you have one failure but two attempts as passed it will be a passed scenario let's try to rerun the test case and we can observe other cases as well let's retry it 
over here you can see there were three attempts made and two attempts got failed that's why the execution status is failed because for the test case to get passed we need to pass attempt but we have only single pass attempt that's why your test case execution is failed in this case so this is what we saw in our mind map as well let me show you the mind map you see this is this is one of the scenario which we just saw so two failure attempts and one pass attempt then also the execution status is failed so we have verified the scenario and we also verified the scenario if you want a more stable application then i suggest you to explore and try this new experimental test Test suite try feature in your Cypress test suite. I'm sure it will be helpful for you. So yeah, this is all for the today's video. It's a new feature which is introduced. It's a bit tricky, but once you understand the logic behind it with these scenarios, if you try to understand, it will be more clear to you. So just try to explore and read more about it from the official website also, and start using it in your Cypress project. If you find the video helpful and informative, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.